hi hi uh, welcome to our video tutorial so this is our uh, last video in uh, project that we are developing number uh, number guessing game so this is our last video what we are doing what we are going to do in this video is uh, we are going to add some validations that we have to check uh, in order to protect our application from failure like let me show you an example so this is our application so the default starting number and ending number is one and zero so what about why what will happen if i click guess new number right now let's see our system is going to fail right that's one thing the other is what if the starting number is 100 and ending number is 10 it's a complete fail right so we have to check this too and just in case if starting number is empty or ending number is empty so we have to check before using guess new number so whenever guess new number button is clicked before trying to generate a number we have to check that the all the required inputs are available and also we have one and ten and what if the number guess the the user guess is 400 is it possible no right it has to be from 1 to 10 so we have to prevent issues like this and also what if the user guess is empty okay so we have to identify all these issues and above all we're going to put a try catch uh, block in our code so that our application will be error resistant okay we can make it we can't make it bulletproof but we can make it harder to break right so in this video that's what we are trying to do and let's go ahead and do it so let's start from simple ones like checking if starting number and ending number are not empty okay so go to mouse click and before trying to read the values here we have to check if txt starting number dot get text dot equals empty right okay empty kahona so if this one is empty we have to check this now let's copy and paste this and we'll make it else if else if starting number now else if txt ending number is empty now we'll have other conditions we'll write the message later now our third condition is what if ending um, starting number is greater than ending number right so we have to convert them to integer to compare uh, number values so txt starting dot get text is greater than or equal to shouldn't be equal to as well integer dot value of text ending number dot get text so this is another error message that we should provide what else we have to check something else as well user guess right what if the user guess is empty and again what if the user guess is beyond or below our scope so we have to check that as well so what we are going to do is uh, text user guess integer value of text user guess first let's check for less than so less than integer dot value of text starting number dot get text so this line this condition will check if user guesses less than starting number 
which is not possible right okay we'll need extra okay, I think we missed one here okay so let's copy paste this one and now user guess is greater than ending number these two conditions means the user guess is of the range okay it can't be star below the starting point or it can't be greater than the ending point so these are the things that we are going to check and then else if all the above conditions are false which means we can do our logic we can implement our logic so this can be done here right now let's copy this j option and let's try to provide meaningful messages for each validation that we have added first please enter starting number please enter ending number Okay, here what we should say is starting number cannot be greater than or equal to ending number, right? The other thing, what if user guess is empty right so please enter your guess yeah your guess because we are talking with the user so the last validation okay so the next message has to be uh, user guess Sorry, it cannot be less than starting number and the last message is going to be user message uh, user guess cannot be greater than ending number so this validations will make sure that the user uh, guess value is always inside uh, the range that we provide okay so i think we are done let's try it so when i try it please enter your guess okay so the user has to enter uh, guess number Okay, user guess cannot be greater than ending number because the user entered 90, the ending number has to be 10. What if the ending number is 0? User number cannot be less than starting number. Okay, so when we put the right number, then the guessing will be correct. What if the ending number, the starting number is 19? So it's greater than ending number, so the system has to stop working. Yeah, starting number cannot be greater than or equal to ending number. So this is more or less the validation that we are supposed to do in this form. Uh, we can add uh, multiple forms uh, or multiple validations, but I think this is enough for one one application. One more thing that we can do, we can put the entire calculation in try catch block if anything happens that we that's outside of our validation then we can provide a generic message so let's copy this one 
so the message is going to be error occurred please try again because we don't know what the, we don't know what happened but we just have to make sure that our system doesn't crash okay so this is uh, this is it so by now we have a simple application a number guessing game so we can provide the starting number and ending number and we can clear our guess we can uh, guess a number and validation validate if the user guess is equal to computer guess and we provide message depending on that and also finally what we did is we provide validations so that our system will uh, will sustain uh, some of the user user uh, problems like if the user enters starting number that's not valid or ending number that's not valid or if the user doesn't enter user guess or entered uh, an invalid guess or invalid value so we have a simple game right now so i hope it's clear if you have any comments suggestions or any ideas that you'd like to tell us about this video or about our entire channel please leave us a comment in the comment section below uh, okay so thank you for watching